Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to try out a cool app, actually two cool apps that will take your photo and turn it into a sketch. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to place uh, a recently used image on my workspace. This is uh, it. It is a, a photo of a doggy. I'll just make that a little bit smaller so we can get all the different options on our workspace. I'm going to go over to apps and I'm going to type in sketch and we're going to get a few different options, but I'm going to focus on two specifically. One is going to be this one here. It's called sketch FX. I'm going to click that. And um, what we're going to get is we're going to get a couple of different options. Now, if you don't get this screen, what you might get is the um, beginning screen with all the terms and conditions. Just agree and then you'll get to this screen here. Now, I've got my image selected so we can see it right over here. And under filter effects, we've got a couple of different options. We've got normal, bold, light and detail. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some copies of my dog because I want to try out all of them with you. And I'll make this just a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to come back to this one right here and we're going to try the normal, which is balanced, crisp, natural sketch effect. So I'll click the purple button. And we'll see how that works. OK, so that was the normal. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time to focus in on the final image. I'm going to select the second one and we're going to try out the bold option. So that's what that looks like. I'll click the third one and we'll go with the light option. And that's what that looks like. And I'll click on the final one and we'll go with the detailed option. And that's what that one looks like. Now, I really like this last one right here, this one and this one. Now, it only does black and white, but let's take these and let's just compare it with the original image. So I'll just come back up top here and I'm going to put these, the image back on my workspace just so that we can take a look at all of them together. I am going to close this panel and make this a little bit larger so that we can just take a closer look at what they look like. So this was the original. This was the light, bold. Uh, no, this was the normal, bold. I think this was light and this was detailed. So I really do like these two right here a lot. Uh, now, again, they are black and white. Now, if we wanted to add a little bit of color to these, what we could do is we could use an app to add to bring some color. So I'm going to select this one. I'm just going to make a copy of it because I don't want to lose the original. And I'll just put that original right up there. I'll grab this. I'm going to go to my apps and we're going to use an app called Colorify. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, this is what it looks like right here. Now, I did try and use Colorize, just um, total disclosure, uh, and it just did not work. Not sure why. So um, I am using Colorify to try out how at adding color to this image is going to make it uh, better. So let's click on Colorify. And with Colorify, we only get one credit. So, um, and again, in this one, in this refreshes every day. So every day you get one credit and you can try it out. And again, if, and if you want more credits, then you'll need to subscribe to get more credits. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the purple button to add color to this image. All right, so this is what it looks like right here. And we can see that we have a, a few options that we can use to um, lighten, um, brighten or darken our image or change the color a little bit. So we can um, change it, this, the cyan, magenta and the yellow. 
And we can also change the saturation of the color. So I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'll leave it right there and I'll just say add to design. I don't wanna replace that image, but here it is right here. I'm gonna make that a little bit larger like that. And I'm gonna remove the background just that we can see it, what it looks like a little bit better, okay? So there is the um, colorized version or the colorify version of this one right here. Let's grab these and let's just make them a little bit smaller. I'll grab these ones too and I'll make them smaller. Grab this one and bring it over here. Make that smaller and I'll just zoom in a little bit here so that we can take a look at these two options here and uh, the difference. So this is the sketched and uh, with the colorify option added. Uh, and like some of my other videos, at the end, I'm going to ask you to choose which one do you like best? Okay, we're going to try one more thing. Okay, so don't go just yet. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to close this. I'll just go back up and I'm going to grab this because I'm going to recycle this image and I'm going to bring it down here to my uh, new page. I'll paste it right over here. And we're going to use another app called um, Sketchify. So I'm going to go back um, into my apps. And I'm going to search for Sketchify. This is what it looks like right here. I'll select that. And like Colorify, we only have one credit to work with. So I've got one of one credit and this refreshes daily. So if you want more credits, you have to subscribe or you have to be patient and wait 24 hours. So I've got my image selected and I'm actually going to turn off creative mode. Um, I've tried this a couple of times and um, I don't really like creative mode. So I'm just going to turn it off. But this app allows us to use a colored pencil. So I'm going to turn on the colored pencil. And the other thing that this app allows us to do is it allows us to add or enhance the image with um, some additional instructions. So for example, if you want to add a Santa hat, you could add a Santa hat. If you want to add a collar with a bow, you could do that too. And um, I have done that and I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes, uh, but I'm not going to um, add any additional instructions. Uh, all I want is a colored sketch. So I'm going to come down to the purple button and I'm going to select it so that it starts to sketch my image in um, color. All right, so here is my image. I'm going to add this to my design instead of replacing my image. So here it is right here. Let me make that a little bit larger. So that's what a colored sketch looks like. Now, if you do not, um, maybe you want to change the color. Maybe you feel like it's too bright. I think that came out awesome, to be quite honest with you. But let's say you wanted to change the color. We can see that there are some color options here. I'm going to select this one right here, which appears to be the fur. So I'm going to click that. And I'm actually going to... Um, select one of these colors that kind of matches with this dog here. It's pulling the colors from the darker dog. So that's what that would look like. If I were to choose that darker brown, that's what that would look like. I think that these look absolutely awesome. I think that if you had a pet, you could transform them into a sketch. I think that this is really, it's amazing. Honestly, I love it. Um, so that's what that looks like. So now I need you to tell me, which one do you like best? So this one, we used Sketchify to create this. And then we went in and we kind of tweaked the color a little bit. So this is what it looked like before. Okay. So do you like the original image? Do you like the darker brown image? 
Or how about these ones? Do you like these better that we created with sketch effects? What do you think? So here's the one that's in color that we used Colorify to change the color. This was the original image, which was which was one of the options. This was a lighter option. This one was bold and this one was normal. And that one was the original um, image. So you tell me of all of these, which one do you like best? So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Let me know in the comments which one that you like the best. All right, guys, if you have any questions, if, there, if there's anything else that you want to learn, if there's an app here that you want to learn, let me know in the comments. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about my live classes, ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. All right, my friends, for now, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.